Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm a student paramedic at the University of Greenwich. We are currently at the Medway campus and today I'll be showing you basic airway management. As you can see over here, we've got your OP airways and your NP airways. We do have a bag valve mask set up here. Our suction's both battery operated and manual. And we have our mannequin over here. So initially, when we arrive on scene, uh, the first thing we do is we follow our primary survey, which is Dr. ABC. Dr. ABC is the acronym for Danger, Response, Airway, Breathing and CPR. As a danger precaution, first on scene, we always make sure that there is no danger to us, to other people and lastly the patient. Um, as a response, we follow the acronym AVPU, which tells us how alert, how verbal, if the patient responds to pain or if the patient is unconscious, which leads us to A. A is our airway. As airway management goes, uh, there is basic and there is advanced. Today we'll be discussing the basic. Once we've established that the patient is unconscious, we will check the airway. Now to do so, there's either the head tilt chin lift, which is you basically place your hand on the patient's forehead and two fingers under the jaw. And what we do is we tilt and we open up that jaw. We have a look inside and if there's anything we do need to remove, then we will use our two different suctioning methods. In the case of spinal injury, and we do suspect spinal injury, we do what is called a jaw thrust. To do a jaw thrust, you use these two fingers on the bone of the jaw and your palms on the cheekbones. And all you are doing is lifting the jaw upwards to create a patent airway. This leaves the spine intact and if there are, is any spinal injury, then you do not make the patient uh, worse. When it comes to OPs and MPs, we will be using the head tilt chin lift method. To size up an OP, what we do is we put the bottom of the OP to the back of the bone and we size it up to the top of the lips. It needs to be level, okay, and not higher. If it is too high, then we will oversize the OP, and if it is against the teeth or lower, you will undersize. The way we insert this OP is we make sure that the head tilt chin lift is in place, and the OP fits in and rotates naturally, following the top palate of the mouth. It does this to secure the teeth and the tongue, creating a direct patent airway. When we use NPs, it is the same size up. This is from the middle of the earlobe to the tip of the nose. As you can see, this MP has a bevel and this bevel is directed towards the septum. Now, because the nasal passage is very vascular, if you do come across resistance, it is best not to continue pushing for further as you will create active bleeding. So in this case, we are doing two NPs and an OP. Now we will be using our bag valve mask to oxygenate the patient. This is done by using what we call a C-grip, where these three fingers are placed along the jawline as so. And a C is done to create a seal around the mouth and the nose and oxygen is pumped directly into the lungs. In the case that the patient does require suctioning, we will be using the electrical or the manual. To do so, we turn the electrical machine on. It has a valve over here to create a vacuum. It is important that when you insert 
the suctioning unit, you do not cover the hole until you're in the mouth. Once you're in, then you create a seal, create a vacuum, and you suction in a figure of eight outwards. Never suction further than what you actually can see, as this will cause problems later on if you lodge something further in. With the manual, then it is just the same, using the hand pump, suctioning out for not more than 30 seconds. And that is our basic airway management.